So the first card is truth. So you're waiting for something to come in uh, to open the doors for you. And it's going to bring in some kind of balance in your life. You've got the scales over here. So something coming in. It could be uh, something legal that you're dealing with and you're waiting for a result for that. But you're definitely uh, expecting it to bring a lot of change. Now, whatever this truth is that's going to be coming in, it's going to bring in a lot of disruption. So some important information coming in that's going to turn everything a little bit on its head you've got this disruption card which is like the tower card so it's talking about you know things being it it releases you but it also brings in a big change uh, whatever this truth is and it might be from a you know based on a, on a legal matter so maybe some legal news coming in that is going to cause a big, big disruption it definitely leaves you feeling very emotionally withdrawn afterwards you can see this person sitting um by themselves and also, it, it's almost as though you are concluding something or reaching the end of a particular phase. So this is leaving something behind. Whatever this truth that comes in, it severs that tie that you had with the past and allows you to move forward on your own pathway, it seems. Now, in the past, you've got the 15, which is the devil card over here. So something that had left you, you know, feeling very manipulated, very controlled, very confused, you know, in two minds about something, not, not knowing what to do, feeling very trapped in a situation, very unsure of yourself. You've been trying to get, you know, it might be a family situation because the four of, uh, this is like the four of rods, it's talking about a family situation that is going on. So there could have been something within the home, within the family that had left you feeling very confused, very uh, disorientated, very unhappy and feeling very, very trapped. Now, it looks like there's some truth coming in about that, some kind of justice, some kind of balance. Uh, so if you were dealing with a very difficult situation, there seems to be some kind of legal conclusion to it. Whatever it is, it's going to bring in a lot of disruption. And it's going to cause you to, you know, start thinking on a very, very deep level, uh, spending a lot of time by yourself and trying to move out of uh, that situation. Now, going to the f uh, future, you've got the fertility card, which is the Empress card. And this, you can see the heart chakra being uh, activated over here. So whatever this truth that is coming in, it hits really, hits you really hard and hits home. And it's got a lot of emotional um, um repercussions really uh, it's also going to bring in a lot of healing with this card over here and it's going to allow you to move away from a situation uh, you know you could have been dealing with a third party situation uh, and now whatever this truth is whatever you hear it's going to bring in some healing and allow you to become independent of that situation and you need to rely on your intuition you've got the um, high priestess card over here so there's at the moment no need for you to be very proactive in anything whatever is going to become uh to come it, the the high priestess is about secrets being revealed as well so something that is coming is you know the, the truth that you have been waiting for and you can see this woman's back is turned to the past so whatever this truth is it sets you free from a situation that you have been very much chained to with this devil card so something coming in and it, it looks like it involves the family it involves some kind of legality some kind of justice coming in this could be karmic justice in itself but it allows you to walk away from the past she's got the anchor around her neck which is the sign of life uh, so it's it's talking about you know you getting your back your life back so getting control back of your life where you have lost it and being independent as well. And, you know, it's going to bring in a lot of healing, something that you need, uh, you know, after a long period of distress. So those are the energies coming in for that week. So I'm using the Tarot of Ascension for the main read. I have shuffled this deck. And let's see. Okay, so at the bottom of the deck, you've got the Knave of Swords. You are waiting for some kind of official news to come in. And it looks like this is the news that is going to allow you to move forward. So it's some kind of um, legal news. It's something that allows you to sever ties with the past. And it allows you to move on your path move forward on your path uh, and leave behind the past. You can see this man in the distance over here walking away from things that are not serving you. So, you know, and maybe walking away from disruptive people as well. So whatever this news is that you're waiting for, this is coming in pretty quickly and it's coming in with the Knave of Swords. And like I said, it could be either a, 
uh, you know, official or something legal that comes in that allows you. So maybe you're just, you know, ending off cycles, tying off loose ends, and you're expecting this news to come in. You're waiting for this news to come in. So what's happening with you? You've got, definitely got the Justice card over here and the Queen of Wands over here. So you might be dealing with a fire sign person and there might be some kind of legal issue that you're waiting for to get resolved with this person. And this is, you know, this legal, this could be legal justice. This could be, um, you know, a legal case, some legal news. This person over here is obviously very much, um, you know, they're standing their ground. Maybe you have some kind of um, argument kind of situation going on with this person. They're standing up for themselves and you're, maybe you've employed some kind of legal means to deal with this. So like I said, dealing with a fire sign person, so Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius, um, that kind of energy coming in. And it's a very, very, um, an energy that is very, um, you know, um, it doesn't allow you to move forward. So this person is very much against whatever you're planning or whatever you're doing. Uh, a stubborn energy, that's, um, you know... You can see the way this person's this person's stance is very stubborn, not willing to move forward and not willing to budge or change their ideas to suit you. So it seems like this could be karmic justice that you're work, waiting for, so this legal decision. Uh, maybe this legal decision will help you overcome whatever barrier this person is presenting to you. Um, but there is definitely some kind of um, legality as well or some kind of balance coming in over here. So this Knave of Swords waiting for the conclusion of some kind of uh, legal case and, uh, you know, in order to to uh, overcome this particular person who is presenting some kind of obstacle to you. So going in, uh, in the past a few months, you've had the Three of Cups. So, you know, you have been uh, trying to share your feelings, uh, communicate your ideas, uh, communicate with other people. The Three of Cups is usually about celebration, but it's also being attached emotionally to people and, you know, making friends, really. And this is what you've been doing in the last a uh, year. So uh, in the last three months, you've got the Knight, Knight of Wands. So, Knight of Wands. so you might have um, you know, relocated, uh, found a new job, moved home, uh, definitely moving into the future, but definitely getting your energy back again into your hands. So you had, maybe you started a new project, um, you started a new job, something that has allowed you to move away from an old situation that you were stuck in. What's in your mind? You've got the Queen of Cups over here. So you are feeling very lonely, very miserable, very confused, a, a bit depressed as well. Uh, and, you know, you are reviewing the past too much. This person's got the cup over there and crying too much over it as well um you know it seems like you've got two people over here you've had some kind of decision that you had to make uh regarding you know your emotional well-being uh but it has left you feeling very miserable so whatever that decision was that you made it seems to have cut you off from everybody else so going into the future you've got the knight of Chal um, chalices over here or the knight of cups so some kind of offer coming in over here for you this could be an invitation that goes out uh, comes out for you um you know maybe meeting somebody new somebody offering you something uh, that is important for you to heal this could also be seeking healing and um you know if it's on the work front this could be even you starting some kind of new learning process some kind of new study in order for you to move forward but whatever it is that is coming in for you this new offer that is coming in for you it's going to bring in some healing and it's going to allow you can see he's he's abandoned all his uh, weapons and his um you know uh, his shield it's going to allow you whatever this uh, this person brings in for you it's going to um you know allow you to heal but it's going to mean that you don't have to fight for things anymore. So it's going to bring in that calmness as well uh, that you need. It could be even a good friendship that is coming in for you. And it's going to allow you to move away from things. Um, because the, the Five of Cups, this is a lot of regret. You can see she's moving away, walking away, feeling very depressed and, and going away on her journey, um, you know, towards the Three of Cups. So, you know, maybe leaving this behind, moving uh, away from things that were not working out using a lot of intuition as well. Maybe thinking a bit too much about the past as well with this Five of Cups, feeling unsupported, feeling regretful about what had happened. Maybe you made decisions that you're, you know, questioning whether they were the right decisions that you made because it's definitely left you feeling rather lonely and miserable. Um, but you shouldn't doubt yourself. Don't second guess yourself. So you've got the Knave of Wands over here and this is making plans for the future. And this is a card that is, um, you know, counseling that you uh, start thinking about how you're going to start tackling things in the future. Now you can see this pathway is completely open. You're waiting for things to happen. And while you're waiting, you are planning. So you are having some long-term 
making some long-term plans about what you want to do for the future and you're taking back that control the ace of wands is about having the control being handed to you and the knave of wands is about actually using that control now my this knave of wands is also about travel so my, you might be thinking of actually traveling or joining away or starting a new job somewhere else or starting up afresh somewhere else but it's about movement away from the old situation. Now, you've got the Hierophant over here. So it looks like, you know, you are abandoning all those traditional beliefs that you had. And you're trying to move away uh, from it. You're abandoning people that are not serving you. You can see all these people are leaving. Maybe you feel like all the people that uh, supported your old ideas have now left you. And now you're standing there by yourself. You can see this man's hands are open almost as though he doesn't know what to do. So you're having to actually go back and make up a new philosophy for yourself. I suppose that scares you because this is it. This is now a new dawn of, you You know, the sun is rising here. So this is a new dawn in your life, a new pathway, a new idea coming to you. And you are worried, uh, you know, that things might not work out. So going into the future, you've got uh, the Knight of Swords, the King of Pentacles and the Moon card. So the Knight of Swords is that official news coming in. So while you're sitting and waiting for it, maybe a message comes in, but maybe somebody also is also going to bring you that news that is going to cause a lot of disruption as well. Because the Knight of Swords generally comes in over there, does his thing, it causes, uh, you know, he says this very quickly and it, it causes that change and then he moves on. You know, uh, you could also be dealing with a very aggressive person um, with this name of, uh, Knight of Swords. But generally it's a legal decision or something legal that comes in that it, you know it's it's done it's dusted and you have to just move on whether it causes dis disruption or not it is what it is and you have to move on so maybe that kind of uh news is that uh, is definitely coming in for you um and the king of pentacles it could be something that was related to work um now this is generally your card with the king of pentacles being on top of things and this is having that financial uh independence so maybe whatever that legal uh decision is is going to bring you that financial dependence um independence and you're not going to be relying on anybody else and you're taking control of things um you know you've got that uh, he's wearing armor over that heart chakra so uh you are shielding yourself quite a bit right now and you're being very very um you know you're in your element you're not taking any advice from anybody. You're not listening to anybody and you're doing your own thing. Uh, whatever this legal decision is, it comes in very quickly, but you have got defense systems to deal with whatever it is. So you, whatever that um, um, outcome of that news is, you will be able to cope with it and you will be able to sort through it. Uh, you have the strength um, and it's going to also make you very independent, uh, very much, uh, you know, Whatever you're doing, a very, a very much a leader in it. So you're not letting it get you down. You're not letting it pull you down. Uh, you've got the moon over here. So, um, you know, try not to let any kind of negative feelings, um, you know, bring you down. So it seems like, you know, you have everything you need to sort out, sort through whatever this uh, news that comes in very, very quickly, very disruptive news. It leaves you in two minds and having to make a choice, a bit confused over your uh, making a decision about whether to stay or whether to go. So this dog's leaving, this dog's going. So it seems like, you know, it, it, it puts you into a position where you're going to be faced with some kind of choice um, that's going to require a lot of thinking. And it's going to mean that, um, you know, you try and get yourself out of um, anxiety or out of confusion. Um, so whatever this decision is coming in, you're going to have to rely on your strength. You know, maybe there's a some situation where you have to defend yourself as well because this king is wearing a lot of armor. Uh, it could be something to do with finances. And, you know, it's got this uh, moon card uh, following it. So, you know, you are going to be a little bit confused, but there is some kind of decision that you will need to make as well. With the moon card, there's a lot of hidden facts. So you make sure that you review everything before you make any big decisions. Uh, you need to do some research with that moon card. Just don't jump into things. Um, make sure that you think about it very carefully. So there is that offer coming in with the Knight of Cups over here. And it looks like you are moving away from things. Uh, and, you know, there's still a bit of re regret uh, involved with that situation, but you will move away. So let's um, draw some cards from the Angel Tarot for the Oracle read. And it says, a new person enters your life. A relationship begins a new phase, a heightened psychic ability. So it looks like this Knight of uh, Cups is like a page of water. Somebody new coming in, definitely coming in and bringing some kind of offer for you. And then you've got the Ace of Earth over here, an inflow of abundance, a promising business venture, and important documents all 
contracts. So this is starting off refresh as far as finance goes. You might be starting a new job, starting, signing new contracts, or starting just a new phase, maybe even getting a promotion with this Ace of Earth. So some new money coming in as well. And you've got another Ace, the Ace of Fire over here, which says an exciting new opportunity, career advancement, and change your life now. So it looks like there's a promotion there that is coming in your way, and it looks like it's going to bring in new money. It might be brought in as an offer by somebody. So somebody giving you an offer for a new job or a new fresh start in life. Looks like there is that offer. And like I said, it's going to make you very happy. He's got his hand over his heart. So whatever it is that is coming in for you is going to bring this big change over here. And it looks like you are going to be faced with some kind of financial decision as well here because you've got that king of pentacles over here. Then you've got the moon with these two, whether to stay or whether to go. So you're going to ha be faced with some kind of new decision. It looks like there are legal issues that you're going to be dealing with, maybe signing new contracts as well if it's from a from a financial point of view if it is from an emotional point of view it looks like things are ending and you will be moving away and starting something brand new over here and a new relationship coming in as well so i hope that this reading has resonated with you please don't forget to like share subscribe leave me some comments if it has thank you so much for watching take care now goodbye